Alright, good evening everybody. My name is Johnny Jetrod. Welcome back to another installment of Populist News. Today we're going to have a quick show on this segment talking about General Dunford has stated today that they are working on a military solution, a reaction to the North Korea problem. They may be working out an actual battle plan. So we're going to have to see what's going on with that. The White House has also come out and stated several times, issuing warnings to uh, North Korea, direct warnings that they will be met with fire, fury, and power, the likes of which the world has never seen. A couple of, a uh, few days ago, last week and all that, we've been ramping up our back and forth, uh, if you want to call it schoolyard bully tactics, um, However, they are much, much more serious, you know. But I finally think that, I think America has, has ramped up the pressure on North Korea and China to where North Korea is not willing to take the shot. They have backed off on their plans to fire missiles over, over by Guam, but they gave it like a disclaimer type deal of... If America keeps provoking us, we'll continue and, and fire the missiles. China has actually called for the um, for the talks to get put back in place, diplomacy, and asking for no military action by either country because they don't want to see a nuclear war on their peninsula, uh, the neighboring peninsula. So you know it's a it's a uh, Man, it's a horrible deal, you know. We've got Japan talking with America today. Representatives of the J Japanese Defense Ministry speaking with America today and coming up with a comprehensive solution together for the defense or offense in the, in the, uh, in the event that a military option is what's going to happen. So... We're going to see, we've got a lot of things happening over there. We've got a lot of uh, resources in the general area. Man, we have a base on Guam that's very, very important. And we have allies in the region. We've got a lot of stuff at our disposable, at our disposal, I'm sorry, in the very close general area. And if Kim Jong-un did by, by some miracle, get a missile up in the area and pass the local forces or the forces that we have in the area to shoot the missile down, uh, we can do it from our, from our mainland. And, uh, you know, it, it's been said that, uh, that North Korea is a rogue nation and always has been a rogue nation and, and it's just going to continue to be that way until, uh, something breaks, you know, we, We've got some people in our current administration who have come out and stated that if anybody believes that a military option should be on the table, they're crazy because uh, if they don't think that a couple of million people in Seoul, South Korea wouldn't be killed in the first 30 minutes of a conventional warfare breaking out, then, uh, then they are sadly mistaken and that now that North Korea has this military capability with nuclear option, that they have basically got a checkmate in place uh, against a armed conflict, conventional or non-conventional. And that is what people in our current administration have said. So, you know, this is a very, very complicated situation, and, and I am of the opinion here at Populist News that if a conventional war breaks out, yes, lots and lots and lots of people are going to die. And if a nuclear conflict breaks out, yes, lots and lots and lots of people are going to die. So, that has to be the very last resort. And I hope and I'm pretty sure that our current administration will not take the first shot unless it is a provocation that cannot be ignored and uh, 
we will uh, we will keep you updated on this situation periodically as time goes by. If any uh, if any recent developments come up and they are greatly going to impact us here, then we'll go ahead and cover it. But that's the current situation with North Korea right now. And if you have any thoughts on the subject, go ahead and make a comment in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to become a supporter, check out the links in the description below. And you can check out the links to all my other social media. My email is down there. You can email me. Uh, there's lots of good information in the description, whether you want to support me or contact me. My Twitter address is down there too. So uh, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in to Populist News. Our next segment is going to cover the globalist's plan for humanity and how recent events have impacted us and how they relate to the globalist plan. So stay tuned for that. Coming up next, my name is Johnny Jetrod. Thank you, America.